Good dog, ain't you, boy? I found, I found a Facebook post that he's got around circles. <laughs> Bruno, I'm gonna get dizzy. Sorry, I found a Facebook post today of Bruno that was eight years ago, and he was two years old. He was hunting uh, with his brother, who was a year younger than him, up in the Wonga Pekka. And so I realised he's actually over ten years old. I thought he was in his ninth year. He's actually over ten years old. He's been there in his kennel all day, and he's doing all right. Normally we're out of his kennel, he doesn't walk properly, because he is, uh, his back end's going a bit. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is a video about Bruno, but I'm going to let the other dogs out of the truck. First we're going to let the rat bag out, Pace. Pace is just, um, he's a kamikaze pilot. It's amazing Pace is still alive, because when he hunts, he's just over the top. He doesn't just want to catch the pig. He wants to... He wants to... He... I want to... <laughs> Bruno, let me talk. <laughs> he knows the dogs are coming out. I'm not going to talk. What I was going to say was, he doesn't just catch the pig, he wants to fight the pig, which is not good. Here he goes. And believe it or not, he's even had a fight with Bruno. Silly bugger. Okay. Bruno's excited because I'm letting everybody out. Pace. Oh, that's a good boy, eh? Calm down, calm down, calm down, mate. Calm down, calm down. Okay, he's even playing with buddy. Calm down, Pace. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, let's let the other dogs out here. We've got Big Z. And there's Poe. She's my main dog. She's my main pig dog. I bought her off Kim Swan Hall, I don't know, six years ago. Man, she's caught some pigs. With just this one dog, it's actually all I'd need as far as my hunting goes. I wouldn't need to have any more dogs, but hey, they're great to have around. Actually, that's not true. Bruno's the guard dog on the property, and he does a great job. He does a good job of keeping uh, keeping the place secure. Right, uh, I'm going to put a, a chain on B because we've got hares and rabbits right now around the whole place, and he will just go and chase them. So we're going to chain him up before he goes any further. Hey, mate. You just can't control yourself. It's just part of his, part of his um, breed, I guess. Good dog. Good dogs. You're eating grass pace. Part of living in the country means you've got uh, tractors and trucks and of course spray units and that's spraying right now and we're actually getting some of that drift over here. So as far as the uh, country fresh air goes it's not always that fresh <laughs> although what that guy will be spraying will be mostly I'm thinking uh, something like copper or because he hasn't got um, the full respirator gear on himself on the tractor. At least you'd hope so, that it's nothing too bad. But hey, that's part of living in the country, you know. And people live in the city, they breathe in lead all the time. Anyway, we're going to um, show you some footage of just Bruno here on this clip. Because it's about Bruno, this video. And then I'll talk a little bit about him afterwards. Get up that hill, get up that hill, in the morning light, get up that hill, oh dog, oh dog, oh dog, oh dog. Now hold him tight, and hold him tight, yeah hold him hard, and hold him tight, 
in the morning light. Get up that hill. Oh dog, oh dog. Oh dog, oh dog. stream down a river stream down a river stream dog and boy so mean dog and boy so mean well the river run red well the river run red well the river run red when the old boy's dead when the old boy's dead. Oh, yeah. Well, the river run red. Well, the river run red. Well, the river run red. When the old boy's dead. Oh, dog, oh, dog. Oh, dog, oh, dog. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, dog, oh, dog. Pose already put herself on the kennel because she knows it's feeding time. That's what I feed my dogs and also my duck sometimes. Ducky likes the old posse yum and the chunky. So this stuff's actually made here in New Zealand, right there on the map, see? Good tucker. And uh, I think a lot of farmers use this. It's got all the good stuff. But for Bruno, well, he's strictly posse yum, aren't you, mate? Because it's a premium dog tucker. This one here. It's a really good one. And you know, it's got the, uh, particularly the Amiga 3 you want, it's got that in it, high on that. Dogs aren't running away now because they know it's feeding time. Chewing on a bit of grass. The dogs actually can't process grass but it does clean them out, they've got worms. And it's probably time to worm you guys again, eh? Right, let's feed some, uh, some dogs some tucker. Mate, look at his lips. So the beauty about this tucker is you don't need a lot. That doesn't look like much, does it, compared to your normal dog roll, but it's compact and it goes a long way. Not for you, Bigs, it's for your mum. Here you go, Pope. In your box. In your box. Good girl. Look at him just resting his head there. Little Bigsy checking it out. Bruno would never take it uh, while I'm present, but I'll tell you what, if I disappeared, that would be gone in a flash. He knows the rules, don't you, Bruno, eh? Yeah. Bigsy's still having to be in patience, aren't you, mate? Yeah. And Pace, well, he's pretty chill with his food. He can take it or leave it. Be calm. So this chunky, I've got three rolls bought to me from Spencer. He belongs to a group where they feed uh, people who haven't got enough money, and they also managed to um, give us three rolls of chunky, which is good. And Bruno's just waiting for it, aren't you, mate? Good dogs. Bigsy. Not you, B. Bigsy. In your box, Bigsy. Here we go in his box and it's for you mate. In your box. I'm actually going to give Big C a second roll today. Because he's hungry. He's not normally eating that fast. So we're going to give you another one mate. There we go. If you have one of those dogs that really scoffs its food, then chop your dog rolls up into small tiny squares. Because... Dogs have choked and died on dog roll. That's right. And it's not just happened once. It's happened quite a few times. I've heard different stories. Because it's different to meat. It's, you know, it's a compound food like this. So if it's a big piece, they get lodged down their throat. They can't move it. It doesn't. It's not the same uh, molecular structure as normal meat, which sort of slides down. So make sure you chop it up in small bits if you have a dog that wolfs it down. Okay, my little man. 
Good boy. Takes it in his box. So all the dogs fed now, and as you can see, Bruno's really being very patient, very patient with his head resting on the fridge. And Ducky's hanging around because she knows it's posse yum time. And she gets a little bit too, if she's lucky. You've been a good boy, haven't you, eh? She's coming in for the kill. Hey, Ducky. So Bruno, he eats a whole entire posse yum roll every day. And I break it up for him. We'll do a half now and a half tonight. You reckon you could handle that, Ducky, dear? you go, Bruno. Eat up. There you go. He knows how to eat it properly. You can see he's breaking it up in little pieces. That's why he gets the whole roll. It doesn't need to be cut up. He takes a chunk and then chews that down. Good premium dog tucker. It's got heart, lung, liver, kidney, and of course it's got lots of possum in it as well. It's got even the brains of the animal. They put everything in there. It's a whole food. It's a premium dog tucker. And you know Bruno is well past the uh, years you expect a dog of this size to live. They normally get to about eight or nine. He's in his tenth year, and that's because he's had premium dog food his whole life. He's pretty much been raised on posse yum and chunky and home kill, like whole, I was gonna say cats, because he has caught a few on the farm that are feral, but actually uh, whole rabbit, whole hare, whole possum, uh, shanks off animals, lots of bone, lots of fish, but posse yum is his main, main tucker. And it served him well. Looking around for more, but he's not getting any more. Did we forget somebody? Did we? Oh. Hey, Ducky. Hey, Ducky. You want something, eh? Hey, Ducky. Bruno, you've had yours, mate. You've just been fed. It's only very fine slices. We don't use a lot for Ducky, but uh, we do give it a wee treat. Okay, let's see if we can do this without taking my finger. Bruno, you're scaring Ducky away. Come on, Ducky. Come on, Ducky. Duck, 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 duck. Here we go. Oh, nice manners. Here's a bigger one, Ducky. Wrap your laughing gear around that. You know, tail's wagging. She, she wags the tail when she's happy, like a dog. I don't know if other Muscovy ducks do that when they're happy. Oh, she's not wagging a tail. You want more, do you? Okay. Is she, in fact, like copping the dogs, or is that what Muscovy ducks do? Still not wagging the tail, still wants more. Oh no, we've got a bit of wag there. Here we go, mate. There's another one. If you start jumping like that, you watch your fingers because those beaks are sharp. Ducky has drawn blood more than once on my fingers, I can tell you. Starts making those little happy noises. Now the chicken's out in the cage. Hey, look, you lift this bit down here. Look, come on, eat that bit there. Yeah. Yeah, eat that. There you go. You're getting full already, are you? You're dropping it everywhere. I reckon you're full. You're not really going at it real hearty like, are you? Oh, I know what's going on. This guy's got his head right on you, like he's chicken you out. Yeah, Bruno, you can duck his little bit. Didn't finish it off. Disgusting as it is, I'm growing maggots there. And these big ones are ready for eating. For the chickens. They make that back into eggs. And what the maggots don't eat, the chickens will eat. Yeah, have some grain with your maggots, eh? And also, for the chickens, I've got this old broccoli and cauliflower left over. They eat that as well. And Ducky's on the other side of the fence and going, well, I want to be in there with the chickens because that's where the feed is. But I keep Ducky separate out of here. There you go, mate. There's your grain. You've had your posse yum. Wrap your laughing gear around that, Ducky. Just not quite like uh, possum, is it, mate? Not the same. Yeah, I know, the grass always looks green on the other side of the fence. 
only there is no grass on the side of the fence. Right, let's check out the egg situation. Oh, looking pretty good. Jeez, these chickens are all laying, and they're laying in all the boxes now. Even the last box has got like three in it. So they're all getting up and they're laying in their boxes, which is good because every day Bruno has two eggs. Bruno, come. Good boy. Come on, mate. What have I got for you, eh? You know what that is, don't you, eh? <laughs> That's right. Now we're going to break it for you, mate. You know what's coming up, don't you, mate, eh? You sure do. It's a, uh, a treat that he's earned. And the shell goes in there, too. Sometimes he eats a shell. Sometimes he doesn't, but I give him that option. Uh, he kind of knows if he needs it. He's had a lot of small game lately, like a lot of uh, possum crushed up, and a lot of rabbit, and hare. And he's been eating all the bones of that, so he may not eat that this time. But um, I'll just break it up in there. Because it's good for his bones. Like that. And I'll give the whole lot a bit of a mix. You wait till I've got it mixed up. Okay, you leave it. He doesn't really have much choice if he eats the shell if you mix it in. Sometimes you'll spit it out. But it's certainly good for him. Because uh, old dogs, their bones need the calcium. Eat up. Making short work of it. So you want to feed the whites and the yolks to dogs when you're feeding them eggs, not just one, because uh, one of them, I forget which one it is, but one has uh, something which is not great for dogs and the other one cancels it out. If you do your research on Google you'll find it, but I know a whole egg is more natural. And some people will argue you shouldn't give dogs eggs at all because it can have E. coli. These eggs have just been laid like this morning on my farm here, so I don't see there being any E. coli there, to be honest. It'd be also, quite frank, I think it's a load of rubbish. I mean, occasionally it has happened. I have heard of cases, but you think about wolves in the wild. They eat eggs they find. Would they survive if they got poison from E. coli from eggs in the wild? Good boy. So Bruno had an operation a while ago which was successful. He had a huge, huge tumour, which you would have seen, which was on his leg here. We weren't sure whether to do it or not. Uh, eventually decided it was $1,100 all up. There's the scar. There's a little lump coming back, so I think the cancer's poss possibly coming back, or that scar tissue from where it was tied at the top, I don't know. He does have some other lumps on him. There's one here. But uh, for his age now, I don't think we'll be doing any more surgery, because surgery also knocks him around a lot. He is a pure Dogo Argentino. His uh, father came directly from Argentino, or Argentina at least. It's actually pronounced Argentina if you're talking about the breed. His father came from there. He's one of the last breed. Yes, they are a prohibited breed in New Zealand. Uh, they're classed as a menacing dog. Uh, the dog ranger knows who I am. The council know who I am. And as a responsible dog owner that has taken care of dogs in the past when things have gone wrong, and things have gone wrong with dogs, so I've had, uh, I had to put down Bruno's mother. She attacked a dog and... They understand that um, I don't muck around with stuff if there's anything that's too aggressive. So he stays here on the farm and guards the place. And he does a good job. To date he's caught two burglars. I've told that story before. They were bred in Argentina for hunting wild boar and wild puma. Or puma, however you want to say it. And also guarding the farmhouse. Or the homesteads, that's what they were bred for. Their country is quite um, arid and open over there. A lot of the uh, breeders, they dock the ears to make them look more ferocious. So I think that's cruel and unnecessary, and I don't think he needs to look any more ferocious than he already is. I mean, look at his size. Uh, when he had cancer, he was around 65 kg. He's now up to nearly 68, and uh, still in good health for a, a dog that's well past his years. I mean, these big breeds don't live that long. He's, He's in his 11th year. Now, I thought he was actually uh, only in his 9th year, but he's actually already 10 into his 11th year. So, a really, really uh, old dog. And a lot of the reason he's made at this age is a number of things. Partly luck. Uh, genetically, he's got a very good back end. 
hip dysplasia is quite a uh, problem in, in larger breed dogs and so this um, these hips here have been really good so his gait is really good and his father had a very good gait when he walked and I always uh, I said to the breeder when I first got him I said you know he's really um, got a good walk the back end and uh, this has served him well so hips often go he's got good hips uh, larger males particularly large breeds and males particularly get twisted gut and this is um, why you should not feed older dogs like this brisket bone or any larger bones that they can't process because they will get them uh, caught up in their guts. He has had that a couple of times and we've managed to sort it but we're careful and that's the reason we use the uh, smaller food like you know the, the posse yum and we make sure that uh, the animals he get are at least uh, broken up a little bit with the axe. He will eat a whole animal. He has, in fact, eaten an entire pig, like a 20 to 30 pound pig before when I've taken him out hunting. He's actually caught it and eaten it. I've got a couple of videos. One where he eats half the pig and he'd, he'd eat the whole lot. He's, he's like a uh, just an absolute killing eating machine when he's uh, in the bush. He was in his day a good pig dog, but being of such a large breed, they're not the most stealth dog in the bush. They're quite... Um, quite noisy going through the bush because I've got so much to go through and that's why in the sort of hunting I do he's not ideal for it good on the rope if you've got a pig and um, of course once they they get it in their jaws with this 503 pounds per square inch bite ratio that Bruno has there's no way the animal's going anywhere they just uh, they're just not he's a really really um, powerful jaw and the muscle the jaw actually goes right around here and the dogo has a split head this is a classic of the dogo they've got that split and it's part of the bite actually starts right up here so it pulls the whole thing around it's part of the breeding they get their white from the Pyrenees when they were bred the two brothers that bred these dogs in Argentina they were uh, I believe they were doctors and correct me if I'm wrong there but uh, one of them at least was and they wanted to breed a dog that showed up well in the bush and also at night so they went for the white they got that from the Pyrenees there's a whole lot of different bloodline that they they put in these, uh, they use the Mastiff to get the size, uh, the um, very famous Cobra fighting dog, um, or I think it's pronounced Corbara, or I'm not sure actually, you can research that, but that also was uh, bred for the aggression, so they do have aggression bred into them, although it has been bred out in later years, and this guy here is like a giant Labrador, if he knows who you are, you, you, you're fine, he's putting his head down there just trying to get attention all the time, because he loves the pats. Good boy. Aren't you, eh? Lovely dog. Anyway, that was uh, Bruno. I hope you enjoyed this clip on him. He's the logo of the channel. He's been around for a long time. I've had him since a pup, and I'm seriously going to miss him when he's gone. Good luck with your own dogs. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. And we'll see you later. <coughs> and we've got a visitor. It's okay, mate. Stay, just stand still. <laughs> Ross arrived. So he exploded in here. Hey. I was just doing a vlog and he like exploded, but he knows who you are, so you're all good, mate. See ya.